Zimio Laumoja, one Kenya leader, Raila Odinga, has kicked off his campaigns for the Africa Union Commission chairperson position, with the former Prime Minister seen engaging seating presidents who attended the burial of Namibian late President Hage Gengob. The former Prime Minister, who has camped in Namibia since Saturday, attended the funeral alongside a team of his campaigners who are seasoned shuttle diplomats and confidence from both the Kenya Kwanzaa and Azimio side, expected to do his bidding. As KTN's political affairs reporter Emmanuel Tor now explains, retired President Uhuru Kenyatta is said to have dropped his bid in favor of Raila Odinga. A week after throwing his heart in the ring for the Africa Union Commission chairperson position, the Azimiolo Moja One Kenya leader Raila Odinga seems to have hit the ground running with the campaigns, pitching camp in Windhoek, Namibia for the funeral service and the burial of Namibian President Hage Gengob, where he met the electorates for the post, the sitting heads of state. In photos shared through his social media platforms, Odinga is seen interacting and exchanging pleasantries with President Cyril Ramaphosa of South Africa, Felix Shisekedi of DRC, and Namibia's Nangolo Mbumba, among others including former Tanzanian President Jakaya Mrisho Kikwete, who was said to be angling for the same position. To win the election, Odinga must get a majority of the votes from the African Union member states. Odinga has camped in Namibia since Saturday, accompanied by a team of lobbyists and campaigners. The team consists of those fronted by President William Ruto and some that he has crafted who include seasoned diplomats. Odinga's team is chaperoned by a long-serving diplomat Elkana Odembo, who served as a Kenya ambassador to the U.S., France and the Vatican. Ambassador Mahmoud Malim, who was the executive secretary of the Intergovernmental Authority on Development, IGAD, also forms the Odinga inner sanctum, while Professor Makao Mutua, who was central in the Azimio campaigns towards the 2022 general polls, was also seen in the company of Odinga. On the other side, the Ruto team includes the Prime Cabinet Secretary and CS for Foreign Affairs Musalim Dovadi, his Foreign Affairs Principal Secretary Koril Singhoe, and top diplomats, including East African Community Secretary General Peter Maduki. The trio have already launched the shuttle diplomacy for Raila. And although some Mount Kenya leaders had pushed for retired President Uhuru Kenyatta to also vie for the AUC chairperson position, his confidence say he will not be on the ballot and will instead throw his weight behind Odinga. Uhuru is not in the race for this AU position. The minute Raila announced his intention to go for it, that was it. Uhuru is supporting Raila Amol Odinga for the AU position. There's no way they are going to compete. Uhuru never pronounced himself for the job. But there was a lot of pressure from peer pressure, I may call that, from regional leaders. People like Suluhu, Kagame, uh, Chisekedi. However, with Odinga's backing from the state comes conditions which may force him to toe the line with a government position which pundits argue puts him in a cage before the February 2025 elections. Raila has the backing of the government, the Kenya government. Raila has the backing of Azimio. It is a bipartisan approach to try and get the job. Raila has his own networks uh, across the continent. If he wants to get the seat, then he cannot oppose the government in the next one year, whatever they do, including the House levy or whatever. And there is already, you know, indications that uh, ODM or rather Kenya Kwanzaa, rather Azimio, might support the, 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 the House levy in Parliament in exchange of Baba getting a seat. That's a very dangerous thing for Kenyans because it's becoming a transactional politics. Emmanuel To, KT News, Nairobi. Coming up, a family in Dandora, Nairobi, in search of a 26-year-old Lucas Iduasi, who is said